Today, we are talking about lesson three, God or mammon. When I hear about God, I think of omnipotent, almighty, Yahweh, eternal, love, protector. But if some of you are like me right now, I had no idea what mammon was until seeing that it means wealth or treasure. But could it be money, possessions, or maybe status? Or maybe it has to deal with a personal decision that you have to make, God or mammon? Let's have a look at what Pastor Christian Copicciano has to say. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, said Jesus. The word mammon comes from the Aramaic language of New Testament times. It simply means wealth or profit. So if one is forced to choose between it and God, does that mean that wealth and profit are evil? No. In fact, God himself is described as wealthy, the owner of the cattle upon a thousand hills. And as for profit, the only injunction against it relates to not making a profit from those down on their luck. As Moses recorded in Leviticus 25, 35 to 37, and also in Proverbs 28, 8. In fact, Proverbs praises those who can make a profit in chapter 14, verse 23, and 21, verse 5. So why then would God make us choose between himself and wealth? In fact, he doesn't. The choice is not between having God in your life and having wealth. The choice is about which we serve, for we cannot serve both at once. We know what it means to serve. You obey orders and jump at someone else's commands. To serve mammon means your priority is to get and keep stuff for yourself. We might do that for many reasons, self-esteem, financial security, to live a life of pleasure, a life focused on me, myself, and I. While this provides temporary happiness, scientific studies indicate that long-term, it leaves us empty and dissatisfied. And what does serving God require of us? To love Him and to love others, according to Matthew 22, 38 to 40. And to love is to give unselfishly for the benefit of others. This is what Jesus did on Calvary for us. God, the one who created us, knows what is best, what will bring us lasting joy, satisfaction, contentment in this life and the next. And that is to love like he does, to live a life of giving, not taking. Like Jesus said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When we live to serve and care for others, not only do we experience joy, but our relationships with others are enhanced. Imagine what our world would be like if everyone focused on service to others. How many poor, destitute, oppressed, abused people would there be? What would our environment be like without greed and selfishness? This is why you can't serve both God and mammon. If your focus is on yourself, by extension, God and others come a distant second. If your focus is on God and others, there's little time and energy left to focus on self. As Christians, we should strive for excellence in all that we do, whether it's family life, work, business, and beyond. But not for personal selfish gain, rather for the benefit of others. As you reflect on God or mammon, the question is not about the size of your bank account, how many properties you own, or the dividends from your share portfolio. The question is, why am I doing what I'm doing? There can only be one motivator, to serve God and others or to serve myself. Which will you choose?